Hello everyone, welcome back to the whiteboard app series. In this video, we are going to add color scheme to our app. If you are finding the content valuable, please drop a like on the videos. It really helps me stay motivated to keep bringing you more. So let's get started. Before starting anything, first let's do one thing. Now the Compose Multiplatform version 1.7.0 is available. So let's use this version in our project. So in your version catalog file, you just need to update this Compose Multiplatform version to this and sync the Gradle. And I already have updated it. So let me close it. And after syncing that Gradle, to make sure everything is working fine, you need to go to this build and rebuild your project. As of now, what we are doing in our app, we are just giving the default color schemes to the app with the help of these two color schemes, dark color schemes and this light color schemes. And these two functions have some default colors. But now we will add our custom color scheme. But before that, let's have a brief on one thing. Dynamic color, a feature introduced in Android 12 that lets your apps match your wallpaper's color. So how does Android create these color schemes? Let's break it down. First, Android take a look at your wallpaper and picks out the main color. This is called the source color. Then it takes that color and generates five key colors, which provides the basis for light and dark themes. This gives your device a personalized and cohesive look that feels uniquely yours. Now to get more understanding on this dynamic color and creating our custom color themes, let's go to the Google. And here on the Google, when you type this material theme builder, you will get this first link of this GitHub page. And on this link, you will get this website. This website will help us in generating the theme and here we can also see the preview of the theme how it will look on the app first how that dynamic colors will create here on the left side they have given some wallpapers and right now this first wallpaper is being selected and we can see from this wallpaper it has extracted this source color and with the help of this source color on the right side we can see an app where a theme is being generated with the help of this source color and it will look like this and these will be colors so now let's select the second image and here it has extracted another color this green one and now we can see the app is looking differently and all the components are also looking differently and if i select the third image and this is how the components and the app will look. So with the help of this dynamic color feature, our app's color theme will customize based on the user's phone's wallpaper. But this feature is only available on the device which has Android 12 or higher. So we need to create a custom color theme for our app for all the device which have less than Android 12 version and also for those devices where user don't want to apply this dynamic color feature. So for that, let's click on this source color. Here select the color. I have one color in mind. You can also use any of your favorite color. So but I will use this. And now press this pick your font button. And here we can also select the font for our app. If we want different font than the default ones, but we will use the default font. So let's just export this theme. And we have this export button and we will export it as jetpack compose theme.kt file. And you will get a zip file with the name material theme. So here is the zip file. Let's open this UI and this theme file and copy all these three files. And 
go to our theme package in the common main. In this theme package, we already have one file with the name color. So first, let's rename this file to something else like color with the three R. And this is giving error, so let's just ignore it for now. And in this theme file, paste all those three files. And now we have three more files. First, we have this color file. And first thing, let's update this package to the one we have. And next thing, go to the type file. And same thing, let's do here and optimize the imports and close it for now and next go to this theme file and first update this package so here first we have this light color scheme and next this dark color scheme and the other ones these contrast color and all these we can remove so let's just scroll down and remove all these four other than we have the first two and also this data class color family and this unspecified scheme next thing go to this color file with the 3r and copy all these colors value and these list and in the color file we can paste all these in the last and now we can delete this file. Let's remove these colors which we are not using. And now we have a list of colors for the light color scheme. And next we have a list of colors for the dark color schemes. And after that we have some default drawing colors and default canvas colors. And in the theme file we have created two values. First one we have this light scheme for the light color schemes. Here we are using all those colors which we have in the color files. These. And next we have this dark color scheme here we are using the dark colors and both these lists will be used to specify the theme so here this theme file is giving error this is because we are accessing this build class which is specific to only the android platform we don't have any build for desktop platform and we are using this code in the common main so here what we need is an expect function and we will provide the actual implementation differently on the desktop and the android platform so here let's create one composable function with the name whiteboard theme and this function doesn't need the modifier and this will be an expect function and to this function we will provide the value with the name dark theme and next this content and the content will be a composable function so here it is asking for the actual implementation so let's use this add missing actual declaration and for now just create for the android main because the android studio doesn't create this desktop main by itself so let's press ok so it has created this actual function for this desktop theme and import this composable annotation and put these on the separate line so in the android main package we have one package with the name presentation and here a package with the name theme and we can see a file with the name theme.android so let's copy both these things and go to the desktop main and in the presentation package we can paste these two things 
so it is not pasting let me create a package with the name theme and a file with the name theme dot desktop dot kt and the code will be exactly same we can copy from here and use it here so we have two actual functions for the different platform and one expect function and we can use this code to provide the implementation for the android app let's cut this code and use in our android theme file and we can access this build class let's import it and also we can access this local context dot current because right now we are in the android specific package and also this dynamic color scheme and let's remove this part and next thing it is complaining that this color scheme is private so let's go back to the theme file first remove this and scroll up and make these public so remove this private modifier and from here also and now we can optimize the imports and these two color schemes will be used here hey everyone if you are finding this tutorial helpful you will love my premium udemy course where we will build measurement a fitness app using jetpack compose we go in depth on the firebase authentication fire store and more check out the course in the description and take your skills to the next level see you there so let me explain what is happening here first thing in the common main package we have an expect function and here we are saying that we have a material theme function which has different implementation for different platforms and on the android platform we have this implementation and here we are saying that first we need to check whether the phone has the android 12 version or not so this s version is the android 12 we can press ctrl b on this and we can see the api level it has the 31 and if the phone has the android 12 or higher version then we need the dynamic dark color schemes so the android will get the source color from the phone's wallpaper then it will generate a dynamic dark color scheme and if the phone is not in the dark mode then it will use the light color scheme and next if the phone is not android 12 or higher then we will simply use these dark and light color schemes which we have in the theme file here these two and we are providing all these three values to this material theme function this material themes function is coming from that material 3 library and next thing let's copy this code and on the desktop app paste it here and on the desktop we don't have any concept of dynamic colors so here we can simply say if the device in the dark mode then we will use dark scheme and in the else case we will use this light scheme and these two colors scheme are the same we have in the theme file so the implementation of this whiteboard theme on the desktop will be quite simple compared to the android and we have these two implementation of this theme file so we will use this theme file whiteboard theme in our app file because from here we are reading the code on both the platform and here we can simply use our whiteboard theme and remove all this code and we can simply pass this dark theme value with the help of this is system in dark theme and optimize the imports so this is how the app will get the color scheme and first let's run our app on the desktop
and here is our app and we can see the color scheme of this button and here we have different colors button so the color scheme we specified is looking good next let me run the app on the android and here is our android app right now my phone is in the dark mode so that's why it has the dark theme and if i open the whiteboard screen and here we have the colors which we specified and it is looking good let me disable the dark mode and here now the app is in the light mode and this is how our app will look in the light mode and that's a wrap for this video we have successfully add the custom color scheme in the next video we will implement how we can save the user's preferences regarding color scheme with the help of data store preferences library as always drop your questions or suggestions in the comments and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already i'll catch you in the next video